Welcome back to my channel, and welcome back to Spook Month October and Horror Night Friday. Today, I'm going to be continuing playing Hospitals of Our Night. I am on Night 4. <laughs> Let's begin. Uh, that's not what I meant to do. I meant to click continue. I could continue, right? I clicked continue, right? Ah, here we go. So we're on the fourth night. What spooks is going to happen next? A key. Looks like there's a note here. Simon is using you. Is he now? <sighs> Not this again. That. That's not a note, that's a newspaper. Well, it looks like, looks like a note. I don't know. To immunity, to immunity. I understand the level of commistics at the beginning of the 21st century. Let's draw a small agony. A plane is flying, which begins to fail and will collide with the ground in a few minutes. It would seem that anyone is, everyone is doomed, but the p pilot offers passengers new parachutes. However, they were poorly studied, have not been tested, and do not guarantee survival. And even if they manage to escape, the area of the fall is also unknown. This is exactly the approach of cryonics has at the moment. People pay money to leave themselves to be saved by certain people, whether it is whether it will be possible to receive them in the future and what the world will become by that time is unclear to anyone. Why did anyone decide to freeze the bodies for a later revival? There has been many cases in history when people have withstood extremely low temperatures and returned to life. For example, Justin Smith stayed in the snow about half a day in a temperature of negative 5 degrees Celsius. The rescuers who found him dubbed the poor man dead, but the doctor decided otherwise, and I gave the American a chance to get out. An hour and a half later, Justin Hart resumed working. Even Smith's brain was able to recover. There are such similar examples showing the resistance of the human body to cold. Cryonics specialists freeze not only the individual organs, but also the whole body. The, the latter, by the way, is less pursuable, prefer, preferable, since organs have already learned to artificially grow or transplant from donor. Huh. That is interesting. I wonder what that key was for, though. Ooh, fire alarm. I wonder if I can press the fire alarm. Just for the fun of it. I just want to do that. Eh, I'm not allowed to do that. Well, that's a shame. 
That is a shame. Huh. I'm not sure what they want me to do. I'm really not, so I'm just gonna go... Do my job. If they want me to do something, then... Tell me. Take over the ship. Sure. I'm assuming I ain't gonna need to stay here, right? Hmm. Do 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 I wonder if they added a new uh, person to the, f to the fight. Well, to the knights, you know what I mean. Hmm. Oh, you can hear my heartbeat. At least I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be my heartbeat. Maybe someone else's heartbeat. Maybe I'm just going insane. Maybe I'm losing my mind. Maybe. 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 Maybe I am. Maybe I'm just a ghost who was a mental patient here who lost my mind eons ago. Is now here to haunt the place. For the end of the days, and the patients here are the ones who are trying to stop me from hunting this place for the end of my days. Now, technically, ghosts don't technically die. They, well, you know what I mean. Hmm. Sounds like the door opened. Yep. Which means you know who showed up. Question, are you, oh. Oh, yeah, you're there. You're there. Just checking with everyone else. Oh God, no, the mannequins are moving. The mannequins are moving. Oh God, no, oh no. Oh no, the mannequins are moving. The mannequins are moving. Oh God, oh no, oh no, the mannequins are moving. What did I do wrong? Uh... I am not happy, not one bit. My worst nightmare has come to life. The mannequins have Moved. Oh. Oh. Well, I'm glad this is not real life. Because if this was, I would shit my pants. Huh, my heart rate's 95. That's probably not good. are moving. Oh god, the mannequins are moving. Is that child laughter I heard? Was that child laughter I heard? What the hell is wrong with this place? What the hell is wrong with this place? I don't dare to go to the second floor. I dare. There's the cat. Okay. Second floor is fine. It's just the first floor I have to worry about. 
Why are the mannequins moving? I am terrified. Why are they moving? What is going on in this place? Why am I even working here? What is going on? Okay, but have it moved more. Oh, it's moving more. Oh. I know that's the axe man. Where did the mannequin go? Okay. I heard you. Oh, they're moving. They're still moving around. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. I'm not happy with that. Where did they go? Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'm that scared. I am freaking out. There's a big, big difference. Okay, I heard footsteps. Sounds like one of the mannequins was moving again. I just hope the mannequins can't harm me. But as long as I keep it on this camera, I should be safe. Look, it's 4 a.m. All I have to do is wait for 7 a.m. And I'll be golden. I don't know where they went. I don't want to know. How long as I don't see him walking around, I'm good. What is this? Doctor Who? If you know what I'm talking about, then you know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about a specific episode of Doctor Who. You guys probably know what I'm talking about. You probably do. Ah, of course you do. Hi there, buddy. It's nice to see there he's talking me. Though technically, there's no one in there. I mean, you don't even see me. I'm invisible. I'm like a ghost. I'm not there. So you're literally just staying, staring at nothing. I wonder though, can the mannequins attack me? Can they attack me? Hmm. Well, it's 5 a.m. Two more hours, and I'm golden. Oh dear. My heart rate has gone insane. I should be dead by how fast my heart's going. That's like a heart attack. Hey, the lights are turned on. Is that good news or bad news? 6 a.m. Well, it looks like keeping on this camera was a good idea. Maybe, maybe, maybe the mannequins are just a distraction. Yeah, maybe. They're supposed to distract me to keep me from actually keeping myself on this camera. Yeah, I bet that's what's going on. 100%. Mm -hmm. They're not out to get me. Not whatsoever, right? Right, right. <gasps> Yay! I did it! Yay! Yay! Oh, hi! <laughs> oh, 
Well, that was the fourth night. Uh, hospital survived the night. Next Friday, it will be the fifth night. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you never ever miss a video. Don't forget to share your friends, you never know, they may enjoy my videos too. And I shall see you guys next time. Bye bye. <laughs> Ha 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 